Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you're checking out a software sampler comparison video on ADSR. So in this video, I'm going to be comparing a bunch of software samplers. I'm doing this for two reasons. First, I want to talk about a couple lesser known software samplers out there. And then also, I want to show you some alternatives to the EXS24 for all of you Logic X users, because the, the EXS24 is a pain in the ass and it's it's a very tedious sampler. So I'm not going to get into that too much, but it doesn't have time stretching. It doesn't have like a waveform view. It, it it just has a lot of flaws with it. It's it's kind of hard to read, it's small. So in this video, we're gonna check out four different samplers. We're gonna check out Contact, we're gonna check out one called Tal Sampler, or Tal Sample, and then Bliss by Disco DSP, and then one called, I'm gonna pull up its name to read it, it's TX16WX. So let's get started. All right, so the first one we're going to talk about real briefly is Native Instruments Contact. In terms of a comparison to the EX20, EXS24, it is just light years ahead. Scripting, time stretching, uh, effects, I could go on and on. So this is the most expensive one in this comparison video for sure, but it's probably also one of the most feature rich. Now, the trade-off is if, if you don't want to make scripts and make custom GUI, graphical user elements and UI and all that sort of stuff. This is going to be a little bit of an ugly interface, but if you're fine with that, it's a great one. So I'm going to show you how you can make really quickly make a new instrument. So we're going to go file new instrument, click on mapping editor and wave editor. So again, there's a wave editor, which is really nice because you can do loop points. You can do uh, start and end times and actually see the wave. So let's load in a sample. And to do that, you just drag and drop into this window. I'm going to drag and drop it on to C2. Okay. All right. So there's our sample coming from Native Instruments Contact. Now, the, you can see that the loop point that is in this sample that I made is already embedded in there. And now the real nice feature about this is you can turn that off very easily. Everything's just right here, right? So let's turn off that loop point. Now, the cool thing is there's time stretching. So right now, and you can see this happen visually. If I play a note down here, if I move this and pitch it down, see how slowly this is moving as opposed to when I play it up here? So the default mode is this DFD. And if we scroll just down, a little bit down, it says DFD. And then there's a sampler mode. This is your more conventional algorithm for handling pitching going up and down. And it speeds up samples and slows them down. But there's this time machine and time machine two. Now, if you engage time machine two, it's essentially time stretching. So let's play C2. This is the sample. And let's play C3, an octave above. So right away, you'll, auto, you'll automatically hear, and you can see visually on the wave waveform view that they're playing at the same rate. Now, this means when I play a chord and I'm going from low octaves or high octaves away from where my sample was, my, my actual root sample, it's going to play all the notes the same duration. All right, so what you're looking at is the Tal Sampler. It's made by Togu Audio Line, and it is about 60 bucks. So the really unique thing about the sampler is it's basically a, it's laid out like a software synthesizer. So instead of being laid out like Contact or the EXS24 or like uh, Motu or UVI, any of the other like big sampling engines out there, it's laid out like a familiar synth. You have four layers, layer A, B, C, and D, which are basically like your oscillators. But instead of using things like virtual analog waveforms or wavetables, you're going to drag and drop or select from your, your pre-selected uh, directory samples, which is really cool. Now, you have a mod matrix, just like a synth. You have a couple effects down here. You have equalizer, reverb, delay. You even have a resampler section with different algorithms like the Emu 2. It's a classic sampler from the 70s, sample and hold, etc. Now you even have, we'll just keep this unclean, you even have some filters, some different low passes, high pass, band pass, notch. You have envelopes, you have LFO. So really it's like a synth, which is really nice. Now we previous section of the video, we checked out contact and we're gonna load that same sample into the towel sampler and it's drag and drop. So it's drag it into a layer and then select layer. So already in terms of alternatives to the EXS24, it's already winning by a lot because you can automatically see your waveform. So if you want to have different start and end points, you can uh, double click, click on start right here. You can do slices, which is really nice. So you can have it do slices by transients, really cool stuff. So if you're working from like a, a loop with different sections, maybe you're chopping something up for a hip hop track, it's really easy. And then you can have each, each slice easily routed to a different key. So that is really cool. Let's go back by to the main screen by hitting okay. So you can hit play, 
to hear the sample. It does read loop points, and you can see it right here. I can turn that off by, by turning that off. And again, the loop point is in this actual sample that I made. Now you get controls like volume, tune, fine, uh, stretch, density, and on, which I'll talk about in a second. You have start point, which you can actually change from this screen as well. So it is just really intuitive. So, All right, let's talk about time stretching. It does have time stretching. And we're going to play it right now. So to get time stretching, you turn this on. And now if we play this, play an octave above. Right, so let's change this to linear and let's try it again. There's the actual root sample and then an octave above. Let's go back to contact and we're going to do the same thing. Again, we're in Time Machine 2 with this. And then an octave above. Let's go back to Towel. Okay, and I'll play a, different, a couple of the different uh, resample modes. Right? Now, well, what we're hearing, if I turn up the hiss, you, you saturation, that sort of stuff. You're hearing a little bit more of like an artifact, uh, kind of like a glitchiness to the sound, but it's still slight. So, in terms of just cost comparison, uh, the time stretching in the, the towel sampler is still pretty darn good. I don't think it's as clean as the Time Machine 2 inside of Contact, but it's kind of to be expected, right? Contact is hundreds of dollars and towel is under a hundred dollars. So it is really efficient and easy to use. So if you're if you're just wanting it to drag and drop samples, you know, horns, brass, bass, whatever it is, vocals, that sort of stuff, it's a great starting point to kind of mess around and jump into that world and not have to use the EXS24. Now let's turn on some of the effects real quick. So uh, let's turn on the uh, filter. Let's turn on reverb. And let's turn on some delay. Alright, let's change the poly to 8. All right, so as you can hear, it's quite easy to get going. You have things like Glide, Portamento, really easy to dial that stuff in. So let's go to Layer B. Let's turn off Layer A. Let's go to Layer B, and I'm going to drag and drop a guitar loop in. That's at 150 beats per minute. So let's play this real quick. Let's turn this on. All right, let's turn on my click. Right now, this specific sample was created at 150 BPM. That's what my uh, session's at. So it makes sense that it's playing in time with it. Well, let's actually change the tuning though. Let's say we want to go down just a, f a few steps. Okay, well now it's out of time. Well, that's what the time stretching feature, that's where it comes in handy. Let's turn that on and play it again. Now it's not going to let you pitch shift, uh, you know, tune it like a whole octave above without having the sound change quite drastically. But let's say you have a loop like this guitar loop and it's in a key that you don't want to sing in or you want to change it so you can get a better sub or whatever it may be. You can go up a couple and down a few. And it pretty much preserves the quality of it, and it will be in time with your track. Now, let's uh, let's take that off. Let's go to the actual sample. Now, let's say you just wanted to turn one of these notes into your actual sample. Right? Well, then we're just going to go end here. Really, really cool stuff. I can... So if you're a hip hop person, this would be really cool if you're using Logic because you can just create some really cool chops. 
All right, so these last two are kind of honorable mentions, but they are really cool in their own right. So this one's called the Bliss Sampler. It's made by Disco DSP. So it doesn't have time stretching. That's its only downfall downfall but it does have a lot of cool features i actually do like the interface of this more than towel it's easier to see it's very clean very easy to use it is drag and drop so you can just drag samples in i dragged a guitar sample in right you can edit it you can actually see what's going on you can it's not the greatest in terms of like getting it to ch getting chops to work I, I i think towels a little bit easier but if it's just like a one one shot sample uh, if we load in something that doesn't have, uh, well, here go to the, we'll go to a noise sound here. If we just want to load in like a one-shot sound, maybe like a brass sample, you know, it's pretty easy to do. Right, we can get back to the main screen from here. Things like glide. Verb unison, which is kind of a cool feature, right? But it doesn't have time stretching, and it's it's a little bit hard to edit chops, loops, and that sort of stuff. But you can do it, and it is. I think it's still cooler than the XS24, just because it's easier to use. And I'll have a link for this in the description. Now, the final little honorable mention here is TX16WX made by CWITEC, Switech, Quitech, Inc. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's completely free. There is a paid version you can buy, but this is like, it's kind of like a, a more polished version of the XS24, in my opinion. So uh, you have a keyboard map that you can just drag and drop samples to. That's why I got this here. Right, you have uh, you can ch do do things like choke. This is so much like the XS24, the way it's kind of laid out, but it's more efficient because you just drag and drop, and then you can also you also have the wave editor view, which is really nice, and you can do things like slice pretty easily. You also have some uh, normal typical controls like attack, decay, sustain, release. You have some different filters, some different effects, that sort of stuff. Now the cool thing about this is it's completely free. There's a paid version but you can actually just use this one for free. There's there's no limits in terms of what it can do, and it's better than the EXS24. So there are, I just gave you a free alternative to the EXS24 and then a couple under 100 bucks. So there you guys go. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below. If you want more in-depth videos on any of these plugins, let me know, and I will get on that as soon as possible. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Sowers. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.